Welcome to this QuickBooks Online tutorial for beginners 2019 on how to enter opening balances for accounts. My name is Matt Holquist with the QuickBooks University, and I want to specifically walk through this because people have a lot of questions on this, and uh, I want to make sure you understand the impact it has and what it does. Okay, so let's assume uh, this can come up in a couple of different situations. So it could be that when you are just starting your business, or it could be that when you just convert to QuickBooks Online, uh, it could be a new account that you open and you put money into. So you have to be careful how you record these opening balances. But I want to tell you the, the simple way to do this and then show you the effect that it has. Okay. All right. So here we are on the main dashboard of QuickBooks Online. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to go over to my chart of accounts. So I hit the gear icon, I click chart of accounts, and you'll see it's got all of our chart of accounts. So let's say that we need to set up a new checking account. All right, so we're going to go up here to new, and you'll see it's a bank account type. This is a bank account. So let's say that you have a business, you went and you opened another checking account at a bank. Any bank, doesn't matter what it is. Say account type bank, detail type, let's say it's a checking account, right? Or actually, I'll tell you what, let's say that this is a savings account. So for this business, we now have opened a savings account and uh, at the same bank that we're at right now. All right, the name, uh, I like to put the bank name. So let's say that this is a, uh, let's say Chase Savings account and the description you can put in a description you don't have to this is not a sub account in this example but let's say that the opening balance was a hundred dollars we had to put in a hundred dollars to open this account now you have to think about how did we get that hundred dollars did we transfer it from an existing checking account did the owner of the business put this money in or was this an old account that has just been sitting there for a long time and we didn't have it on the books and now we're putting it in there. So what happens is when you put in the balance as of 5-1-2019, if it's $100, so when we put in this opening balance, so QuickBooks makes this really simple to do. You just put in this opening balance. To have it at this opening balance, that's what it is. We're gonna put it in. So if we save and close, let me show you what happens here. So here's the Chase savings account balance, $100. If I go to view my register, you'll see that it puts it to this account called Opening Balance Equity. Now this is sort of a plug account for QuickBooks. And what that means is if I go to Reports and I go to my balance sheet, let me pull up the date period this year to date, 5-1. Okay, so opening balance equity, you'll see in this sample file, there's already a balance and you'll see my $100. So basically what QuickBooks assumes is that equity is something the owner has put into the business. And so it's assuming that the owner has put this $100 into the business. Now, if you transfer this from another account, you do not wanna put it to opening balance equity. What you want to do in that situation, okay, let me go to this uh, opening balance. So when we see it puts it in with this deposit here, $100, I'm going to go to a different uh, area of QuickBooks. So we don't want to show it as an opening balance equity. What we want to show it as, let me go back to my chart of accounts. We want to show this just as a transfer. So when we set up this account, this new Chase Savings account. I'm gonna delete this transaction, okay? I'll say yes, okay. So what we wanna do is when we set this up, let's go back to the step of, okay, we set up the Chase Savings account, you leave the opening balance blank. Just leave it blank. And instead, it'll show as a zero balance, but then what you wanna do is you wanna transfer funds. Because in this situation, we just transferred money let's say from our checking to our Chase Savings account and the transfer amount was $100. If you don't do it this way, when it was an actual transfer from the checking account, what's gonna happen is uh, you're gonna show this opening balance equity 
that amount will not come out of the checking account and you won't be able to reconcile. So the important thing to remember is when you're entering these opening balances, you have to think about where the money or the balance or whatever it is, where it came from and then record it appropriately. So if we save and close, now if we go back to the balance sheet, it will no longer be in this opening balance equity and it will show as a hundred dollar balance here, but it was a transfer out of the checking account. You'll see it here, a transfer. So again, important thing is just remember, look to where this money came from and record it appropriately. Any questions whatsoever, feel free to leave a comment below. Happy to, to help you out uh, to the extent I can uh, in the comments. Also head over to the QuickBooks University. We'd love to have you become a member over there. Website is qbuniversity.org.